I witajcie, ja jestem Hobby, witam was w kolejnym odcinku z naszej gry, z naszej serii, z gry Game of Thrones, Gra Tron. I jak widzicie, nasza postać Morsa trochę się zmieniła. E, ubrałem te zbroje górna i ten hełm, ponieważ da, zadaje e, bardziej chronią, w ogóle to jest ciężka zbroja, mamy lepszą tarczę, lepszy miecz. E, resztę ekwipunku sprzedawałem, wybaczcie. Więc słowa to wiatr, Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion, jedna z, też z najlepszych postaci z całej serii. No ale, o, tu są jeszcze handlarze. Kowal? Nóż, nu, nóżem ja nie walczę. Ale o, ten jest słaby. No... Szabla. No to ta szabla już coś, coś tam... Myślę, nawet bym ją kupił. Ok, dostałem zniżkę. To z łuku to ja nie walczę. Zbrojmistrz. Ok, duża tarcza, zużyta tarcza, ale tak lepsza. A tu 5 złotych smoków. A. 58,91. To już jest lepsze. Ja potrzebuję ciężkiej zbroi. Prądę na reverse. O, ten to już jest moc. Dobra, wiecie co ja sobie to trochę pokupuję? Może nie tego. A na pewno tą... Tą bandurę może lepiej będę wyglądał. No to bym kupił, ale... O. Tak trochę mi nie stać. No i te buty może. No ta jest słabsza. Tą tarczę kupować czy nie? Nie. Dobra, dobra, teraz to może... Ło, 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 nie szalej tak. Bo zostawiłem sobie jeszcze po jednej tej broni, w sumie nie wiem po co, ale... Ale tak, a nie to. I ten hełm, te rękawice i bo ty Jezu, jak ja wyglądam paskudnie. <śmiech> Naprawdę paskudnie wyglądam. Ale tu jest jeszcze jakiś handlarz. Alchemik, dobra. Olej laurowy. A, a coś... Makowe mleko. Okej, okay, dobra. Okej, 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 okej. Musimy iść na górę. Zagra ta jadalnia. No granniki z koruczyki sobie weźmiemy. A to ty kim jesteś, Walder? Frey? Nie. Hmm. Brothers normally ask hmm. me to paint them a pretty woman with big teats and spread legs. But I must say that this is a little more original. I realize we aren't the best of friends, but this statue is a work of art. I hope I treated it with the attention it deserved. I'm rather proud of my work. I returned it to its original colors and it looks like new. It's beautiful work, Walder. I have never seen such a striking likeness yes. of the warrior. It's as if you have given him life. It would appear the frost has not completely eaten away my hands. I hope you don't regret the price you paid for this job. Not at all. This statue is worth more than you can imagine. True. Actually, I have a vague idea of it. I've already seen this kind of work in the past, but only once. Such a blurra. Except of Baylor of King's Landing. I recall legends telling of statues made by the first disciples of the Seventh, 
when they still strode the hills across the narrow sea. They were carved into a star that the Seven had torn from the heavens. These statues depicted the true face of the gods, just as they were when they showed themselves to the Andals. And it is said that the Andals' greatest heroes carried them off when they snatched Westeros from the first men and the ancient gods. How could a man such as yourself find himself in possession of such a precious object? This statuette of a warrior has always belonged to my family, as far back as the bloodline stretches. It is because of this that he walks alongside us. Have you heard of the Battle of the Field of Fire? Ah, now there's another great tale. At the time of yeah. Aegon the Conqueror's conquest, the Lannister King and the King of the Reach united their forces to fight the Targaryen and their dragons. This is not just any old tale. This battle really took place, and it was the greatest massacre in the history of the Seven Kingdoms. On that day, more than 4,000 knights perished in the fire of those three great dragons. Every no, this one coming up stuck. Kolejny Lannister. When the shadows of the dragons blotted out the sky, and their fire engulfed both men and beasts, he prayed for his life, as he had never done before. He swore then, on his immortal soul, that he would search for and gather all seven, collecting the six other statues which accompany the warrior. Amory survived, and he set about his quest to give thanks to the seven. He never succeeded, and our bloodline inherited his oath. I imagine that faith comes more easily when one rushes into the jaws of such monsters. It's a beautiful tale, all the same. You know, I could maybe help you keep this ancient promise more. Let's just say that I'm interested. What do you hope to gain from it? Sometimes it's pleasing to be able to work on something just because it's beautiful, Mort. What I want is to finish what I've begun before I'm judged by the Father. Would you do it for free? I've not taken so much joy in anything since I chose to take the black, and you know how important the faith is to me. If I could help you accomplish this sacred vow of your ancestors, I'd be paying homage to the gods for all their graces. And how would you do that? This statuette, it was created to be part of the group of seven. Yes, we already spoke of it. Wait, you don't understand. I've studied it closely and I can tell you it was made to be bonded to other objects carved from Tego, the tak szczerze mówiąc nie słyszałem, więc... Więc no. Warriors bore, like the seven-pointed star they carved into their chests. I believe I'm capable of reconstructing such a work. More than 4,000 years after its imagining, it would be magnificent. Walder, what are you suggesting? I do not follow. I should be able to make copies of the statuettes that go with this one. With good models, it should be possible. Out of the question. That would mean going back on the word of my ancestors. This is about an act of faith and the honor of my bloodline, Walder. Forgive me. I understand what you say. I've never seen a rock that compares to this one. It's perhaps true what the legends say when they claim they were carved from a star fallen from the heavens. That may well be. I thank you and I would leave you now. Wait, I can restore them, just as I brought the warrior back to life for you. These statuettes are not unique, though extremely rare. I told you I remember seeing three whole sets in the great sept of Baelor. You speak of a world which is closed to us, my brother. I'd be happy to share this dream with you. If you ever manage to lay your hands on another of these precious relics, I doubt it would be in good repair. But I can restore all their beauty for you. Nora. I thank you, Warder. Indeed, your help would be invaluable to me. Truly? Well, all that remains for me is to pray to the Seven that they finally bestow their kindness upon you, Mort. We have what remains of our lives to find out. May the warrior guide your arm and the crone light your way. 
And may the father forgive you for everything else. You're bloody right there, brother. <laughs> okay, wiara naszych przodków. Okay, dobra, tu mamy Lorda. O, o. Zobaczmy przez fabularny wewnik. John, Lothar told me that you wanted to see me as soon as I arrived. Yes, one of Quar and the Half Hands men arrived before you and told me what happened at Icemark. Have you found Poddy or his remains? Poddy deserted. I tracked him down in the forest north of Molestown. Managed to kill him just as he was attacking a young girl. I also took care of a couple of cutthroats I came across as they prepared to ambush passers-by. Reed is so near to Castle Black. If only we had enough men to send more patrols deep into the gift. So, not a single one of these green boys will have survived his first no, day that's a... as a brother of the Night's Watch. I know enough about what happened there for now. Moors, there is another matter we must discuss. I don't know if you noticed the soldiers with the blue tabards downstairs. They're the men of John Arryn, the King's Hand. Ah, the mm. men you told me about before I left for Icemark. Those who came to meet me. Yes. According to their message, they were looking for one of the heroes of Stag's Mount. You are the only one here who fits that description. Do we know more about what they want from me? Yes. They brought me a letter written by John Arryn. I'll let you read it. You can see for yourself what it's about. No, my list. To sobie możecie przeczytać, oczywiście. E, sobie zatrzymacie, aż to w sumie czytałem, więc. A, no. Z tego, co się orientuję. A dobra, nieważne, nieważne, zobaczycie w sumie sami. Aaron, that sly old fox hasn't changed a whit. Fifteen years without a word, and all of a sudden he writes to beg a favor of me. I'm not even surprised. Why are you receiving a personal missive from the king's hand? He's an old friend. We fought side by side in Robert Baratheon's rebellion. He saved my life more than once. There is a passage that I don't understand. It mentions a girl, the darkness, and your wife, Serena. What does it mean? Aaron is an intelligent man. <laughs> This is a message only I can decipher. During the war, when we fought together, I never once used the services of a whore. Aaron knew and would tease me for it. He liked to say that I feared the darkness that lurked in brothels. I would reply that the thought of my wife was sufficient to clear away any darkness. The girl he mentions in his letter must be hidden in a whorehouse. The only one I know of nearby is in Molestown. Old Arad knows me well. Fifteen years later, I'm still faithful to my wife. It is good that you honor the chastity of our order, sure. Moors. But are you doing it for the right reasons? Our vows are clear. We must leave behind our wives and children. If you are true to your oath, it must not be out of love for Serena, but out of respect for the Night's Watch. I fulfill my duty, Jor. That's all you need to know. My memories are my own, and you cannot take them from me. Be that as it may, he must have felt seriously threatened to write such a cryptic message. This does not bode well. Ona chyba będzie. I conferred with his emissary, Sir Godric Donnelly. He convinced me that his mission did not conflict with our duties. And if we help them, Aaron will convince King Robert to send us the recruits, materials, and supplies that we so sorely lack. Molestown is in the gift under the jurisdiction of the Night's Watch. You have my authorization to go there with Sir Godric. Thank you, Jor. I will 
finally be able to repay my debt to John Aaron. Remember more. Tak wysoko jak Honor, a słuchaj teraz Honor. Powiedzenie Arynów. If for some reason you suspect that something is wrong, return to Castle Black. Very well. I will go find Mr. Godric. Neutralność, neutralność tych całych tej całej nocy straży jest powszechnie znana, ponieważ ponieważ jak to się nazywa, no mówi się, że właśnie nocna straż jest jest kim jest neutralna, nie miesza się w politykę, dlatego no przy jak wojnach tych króli oni siedzą dalej na murze i chronią ludzkość. I am the knight Godric Donnelly, and this is my lieutenant Jared, and you must be Sir Mors Weston. Indeed. John Aaron described you as one of the true heroes of the Battle of Stag's Mount. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. I knew someone named Mors Westford at one time during the Baratheon Rebellion, a real son of a bitch who I hold directly responsible for the death of my brother. I wouldn't have expected to find him at the wall. Hold your tongue, Jared. We're in Night's Watch territory here. Whatever our past quarrels, we're on a mission here. Please excuse this interruption, Sir Westford. If you have read the letter, you must already know our reason for being here. Pardon me, Sir Donnelly. I would like to clear something up with your lieutenant. Your name is Jared, isn't it? You say we met during the Baratheon Rebellion? You don't remember me, do you? I am not surprised. I was just a simple warrior of no title at the time. I remember you well. The Furious Knight come from the Westerlands to help us take down King Targaryen. We fought in the same army. The man who had my brother executed. Just because we'd looted a village and had our way with a couple of wenches after our victory. Uh -huh. And you violated the laws of the Seven Kingdoms. Of honor and of the faith. Leading an army requires discipline. Those who don't respect it get what they deserve. And yet, when it was all about overthrowing King Targaryen, we violated the laws of allegiance and of honor there too. But I don't remember hearing you complain of it. No, my loyalties were to my liege, Lord Tywin Lannister. I was abiding by the oath I took. No one asked you to pillage that village. Your brother was the captain of your band of mercenaries. And he was accountable for your actions. He paid the price for it. At least I see that justice caught up with you in the end, Knight. I doubt you would have chosen to take the black. Tak jak kutnia starych rycerzy. You will be out your days here. Enough, Jared. Shut it. Go get some fresh air. You need to change your tune. Forgive me, Sir Westford. Jared is a fierce fighter, but he doesn't always know when to hold his tongue. I was unaware that you two had so much history between you. Let us return to the task that the King's Hand has entrusted us with. Indeed. I heard that John Arryn had fallen ill recently. How does he fare? It has been some time since we left King's Landing to come north to the Wall. No news has reached our ears since then. Nonetheless, knowing the Lord of the Eyrie, it is probably nothing. He has an iron constitution. Everyone knows that. I just hope. That he has not aged too much. Very well. I believe I know where the girl is. The one John Aaron speaks of in his letter. Perfect. I knew we could count on you. Lord Aaron only gives his trust to men of great worth. Then tell me, sir, where is she? Sir. What do you plan on doing when you have found her? She must be protected. I am sorry, but I'm under strict orders. I cannot speak of our destination. As long as you take her far from here. Castle Black is not exactly. No, to jest prawda. To jest prawda. According to the information given in the letter, there is no doubt about where the girl is. She is hiding in Mole's Town. In Mole's Town, the village we passed along the King's Road. Yes. To protect themselves from the constant cold outside, the inhabitants have built an underground passage. I will lead us there. We will no doubt find her there. 
Strangers are seldom seen in these parts. We'll ask the villagers about her. Very well. Let us get on our way. Hold on. I just received a raven with a message from King's Landing. Dark wings. Oh, there's another text. Go outside, Morse. I don't wish to speak of this in the common hall. What's going on, Jor? Mm. Very well. The king's hand, John Aaron, is dead. Czyli na to co zapoczątkowało jakby pierwszy sezon gry o tron. Ale ster, trzy miesiące wcześniej, rozdział czwarty. Pierwsze chwile twojego pobytu w River Spring stały pod znakiem złowróżbnych odkryć. Sytuacja wygląda gorzej niż się obawiałeś. Bez lorda, który utrzymywałby pokój, zdesperowani ludzie posunęli się do buntu. Twoja interwencja pomogła zdusić to powstanie, ale na jak długo? Mało tego, jeśli, jeżeli nie przysiągniesz wierności królowi, River Spring wkrótce znajdzie się w rękach Valara. Twojego żadnego władzy przyrodniego brata. Z tego właśnie powodu stoisz teraz przed bramą królewskiej przystani, stolicy siedmiu królestw i serca politycznych intryg. Masz też nadzieję, że znajdziesz tu swojego brata Gawena, 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 nie wiem jak to przeczytać, na którym ciąży zarzut zamordowania waszego ojca. Wkrótce światło prawdy rozproszy ten cień, albo ujawni głębokość mroku. Dobrze. Ja, mamy jelenie, symbol rodu Barytionów. Okej, okay, tam mamy iść. Nie, dobra. Do dworku Sarwików. Okej. Okay. W ogóle ta kasa się jakby łączy? Chyba nie. Albo? Zresztą ty tak nie potrzebujesz. Mogę zmienić. Ty nie masz. He. Ty nie masz hełmu. No to, to, to będziesz miał kaptur. Bo jednak ten kół. O, nie będę cię okradał. Aha. Hmm. We're called the Reapers. Now, Lord Sarwick will come with us quietly. I can be very unpleasant when there's too much noise. So? How do you know my name? I lived at River Spring long ago, and I never forget a face. You may be a bit more wrinkled, but you haven't changed much. I saw you enter the city gates earlier. I couldn't let an opportunity such as that pass me by. Enough idle chatter. Follow us. If you know who I am, then you know that I am of a noble family. If anything happens to me, the watch will be on your tail for the rest of your miserable lives. That yeah. seems a large price to pay for a bounty. Don't worry about us. Once we've gotten the bounty, we'll have more than enough to pay off the city watch. What reward are you talking about? You are kin to Garwin Sarwick, are you not? A man worth a hundred gold dragons. It's his bloody brother, I tell you. He has to know. Who would put a bounty of a hundred gold dragons on my brother's head? That's madness. It was the watch, pretty boy, and none other. Your brother is accused of killing Lord Sarwick of Riverspring. A damned kinslayer. I still fail to understand the link between the reward for my brother and me. No one has put a bounty on my head as far as I know. Perhaps. But you must know where he is. If you don't want no, to we'll spread go we beat you to a pulp. So your brother will show his face. And then we'll have him. Right. Since I can't reason with you, let's settle this with steel. The light of Relor will welcome you home. Right. Once I've broken all of your teeth, you'll beg me to release you to your god. Okej, okay, i używamy ognia. 
ten jakiś trudki tam używa. Co to jest? No tego, tego, tego bi. Jestem za trudny. Jeszcze raz. No. O kurde, ja to mogę przegrać. Tak teraz patrzę. No tego trzeba się pozbyć. No teraz to już jest easy. No. To już są takie płotki. Tam ten ten właśnie był najgorszy. No, niestety. Muszę sobie dokupić te, te oleje. You have any notion of who they were? They claim to be called the Reapers. Does that mean anything to you? Perhaps. A couple of useless brutes and thieves who crawl through the city sewers. Petty thugs for the most part. Their boss must be quite clever to still be working after all these years. But we'll get them sooner or later. Trust me. Złote płaszcze. No, na swoich złotymi płaszczami. E, ponieważ... E, z... To jest straż miejska, tak? Złote płaszcze... Właśnie należą do tej straży miejskiej. Okej, okay, tutaj zaciekłość. Eee, jest zwinny jak. Okej, okay, to może weźmiemy. Zwinny jak wąż. Okej, okay, to jest bardzo przydatne, tak mi się wydaje. Ja powinienem lekkie zbroje nosić, a nie jakieś takie czulstwa. No dobra. Co to jest? Złoto. Idziemy do tego naszego dworku. Tylko jak tam się szło? Tak średnio już pamiętam. No właśnie. No właśnie, już jesteśmy. Widzimy naszego kochanego Benkarta. I'm searching for your master, Garwin Sawin. You won't save him, but you can still. Wiesz, ten człowiek ma na nazwisko. Rivers. Was Benkarta. We don't know where he is. He's not been here for months. Take him to the Red Keep. No, I haven't done anything. I know nothing. Let me go. Lambert, no. Leave him be, please, sir. My lord, mercy. My husband is a good man and loyal to the crown. He knows nothing. Uh, 
Kawał gnoja. Ale daleko mu... Ale daleko mu do Jeffreya czy Ramsey'a. No. Spotkanie braciszków. That red priest arriving in the middle of the ceremony like a ghost from the past. That was you. Did you return to go to your brother's execution? Garwin was arrested. Not yet. But it shouldn't be too long. I will personally make sure of it. Do you really need to massacre our servants to find our brother? Oh, so now we're brothers, are we? Yet when we were children, that was out of the question. I was just a bastard in your eyes. Now I serve the Queen, and I have orders to stop your kinslayer of a brother. <laughs> what is certain is that Garwin's people had nothing to do with the death of our father, Valar. How can you be so sure? Don't worry, though. I'll make them talk. And it's Sir Valar now. Lord Tywin Lannister himself knighted me. I am not surprised. The powerful enjoy surrounding themselves with rabid dogs. I only do what is asked of me, and I'm rewarded in kind. A Lannister always pays his debt. Lannister zawsze pays his debt. Też takie zawołanie. So tell me, how is it that the Crown personally gave you this task? This task is normally for the Watch, but the Queen personally requested that one of her trusted men settle this matter. After all, you made me endure when we were young. Rest assured that it is a pleasure. Have been given this task. Moreover, Garwin could have gotten in my way as the legitimate heir. But once he's lost his head, I doubt he'll bother me again. Don't count on it, Valar. I have returned, and I intend to keep you from perpetrating your crimes. Whatever claims and duties you had towards the Sarwick family, you turned your back on them long ago. River Spring will soon be mine, and no one will stop me. I was not in exile, Valar. I left of my own free will, and I am free to return whenever I see fit. I am the legitimate son of Lord Sarwick. You were the heir, but you abandoned your inheritance fifteen years ago. Trust me, Valar. It was better for you that I left. Whatever happens, I shall be the Lord of Riverspring. And yet, you cannot ignore that I am betrothed to your sister Eliana. By all the laws of the realm, River Spring will go to me when we are wed, and there is nothing you can do about that. As you can see, the interests of the Sarwicks will soon be my own, dear big brother. It was time someone took care of them. I heard of this charade. Don't delude yourself too much, Valar. I shall put a stop to it. This alliance was decided by the Crown itself, and Eliana fully consented. You see, it's all been taken care of. Like for Garwin. Who will be found and judged for his crime? It is the royal will, Alistair. It would not be prudent to oppose it. The crown will first hear what I have to say. I will go and request an audience, and we shall see about my brother and this marriage. You're going after Garwin. You plan on marrying Eliana. From one day to the next, you go from a bastard without a lineage to being an heir to Riverspring. Don't try to. Rodzinne kutnie, tak to można nazwać. This isn't going to lead me anywhere. Once my rights have been re-established, I will once again be Lord Sarwick. And I will find my brother. Don't count on it. I'm in charge of the matter. The Sarwick Mans will remain sealed until further notice. The City Watch will keep an eye on it, so stay away from this house. Do not get in my way, Alistair, I'm warning you. <laughs> Trust me, we will meet again. Okej, okay. ale to by było na tyle, więc w następnym odcinku przeszukamy ten dworek i prawdopodobnie spotkamy się z miłościwie nam panującą królową serce Lannister, więc 
To było na tyle, ja się będę z wami żegnam, więc jeśli film wam się spodobał, zostawcie łapkę w górę, jeśli chcecie o coś zapytać, coś dopowiedzieć, mi poprawić, piszcie komentarze, jeżeli kanał się spodobał, chcecie być na bieżąco, subskrybujcie, więc cześć i do ustrzenia.